Looking for a place to live? Well, watch out. More people are falling victim to rental scams. John Metteris tells us what to watch out for in his Don't Waste Your Money report. With record high home prices in Pennsylvania as we head into the new year, many families are thinking of renting a home instead. But that market is red hot too, and it's easy to fall victim to a scam. Amy Hares is a minister who is looking for a rental home. Her prayers were answered when she found this great home on Craigslist. This beautiful four bedroom, three bath home, $1,100 a month. Just to be sure, she drove by to have a look. When I went there, it was, you know, exactly like the pictures. So she texted the landlord who said it was still available, but it was his next request that stopped her in her tracks. He wanted our social and our, a copy of our driver's license. And I told him, I'm not comfortable giving you that information because I haven't seen a face. Luckily, she stopped right there before giving out her social security number or sending any money. Other people, though, are not so fortunate. Stephanie Hollander was trying to sell her home two years ago when scammers reposted her listing and started taking money from people. We were contacted about two weeks ago um, from a woman that she said she had rented our home. So don't let this happen to you. The FTC says be suspicious if the landlord wants a deposit before you have met. You can't go inside the home. And they ask for a deposit via Venmo, Zelle, or gift cards. Mary's giving thanks that she didn't fall victim this time. You know, be very careful. Finally, do what Mary did. If the landlord or agent won't meet you in person, say the deal is off. That way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteries, ABC 27 News.